So here we go, the day has finally arrived. It's game day, the opening game of the 21-22 season. Town face newly promoted Morecambe here at Portman Road. 20 plus thousand fans are expected. The fan zone is getting full, the beers are flowing. Oh, it's gonna be a one hell of a day. The weather's been up and down, it's been raining, the sun's out, but what, we don't care. Fans are back after 18 months. Let's get into the ground, let's soak up the atmosphere, let's get the sights and the sounds, and let's get and see the fans after the game get their thoughts. So let's get in there, let's go. Right, Michael, back by dope demand, aren't we? I think. Um, what did you think of the our contract? Two, the contract, the contract, it's in negotiations. But what did you think of a 2 2 draw of Morecambe? I don't think you'd ever probably well, be thinking when we say that. I seriously thought we were going to lose. Well, I always believe that. I said that last week, though. You did? Yeah. But you got to have the faith, Mark. I think, you know, it, you could tell there's a phrase that goes around it's a team of strangers, and I think. Yeah, we said before the game that there's three. 
How many signings were there yesterday? Two? The two signings yesterday. Two new signings that don't know where the toilet is. So. <laughs> You know, it, it's, a, it's a whole new team. Um, I think if, if you're going to be part of this journey, then you've got to be on it from, and you've got to take these little dips that are going to happen. Um, probably not the result what people were expecting today. I think it's probably quite bittersweet for some people. Um, unfortunately, people have yeah. lost people during the co you know the COVID pandemic. Maybe as long as we not, don't become the twelfth man for the opposition. No, we won't. Don't you worry. Yeah. But you know, um, like who stood out for you? You like the goalkeeper, don't you? I like the goalkeeper. What's his yeah. name again? I don't know. What's it? Ladke. Ladke. That's the one, yeah. There you go. As, <laughs> as coined by Ross, yeah. Uh, Google Translate does come around. Nobody knows how to say his name. But no, I think to, to Morecambe's credit, they took their chances. I think they had three chances. <laughs> we gave them one. Um, I don't think Luke Wolfenden was very happy with giving that promoted. away. That's how they got promoted, wasn't it? Just yeah, you know, attack. playing on the counter, they're organised, you know, resolute. Yeah. I'm not going to dig out the referee because we're we're ugly enough and wise enough now to know that the referees aren't great in this well, division and you've got to play them a little bit and I think Morecambe did that well um, and that they were compact similar to what we had last week a team that's compact well I think if we could if we could avoid a defeat just get if, even if we pick up draws in the next uh, four games five yeah. points first five games then we'll start to get some gel in together. Yeah. I think it's going to take at least ten games. Yeah, keep the faith, guys. And then we're going to be top of the league. Keep the faith. Hundred points, hundred goals. I'm Ross, and this is Evelyn. She's six. It was her first ever game today. Um, quite the day out. Um, we've enjoyed it. I think mostly. Um, you know, the referee and a few other things have uh, played a part in uh, in not having the the greatest day out. But uh, I think it's still just great to be back at Portman Road for, for me and for, for everybody. Um, just the, the sheer feeling and the atmosphere around the ground was absolutely incredible. So uh, we've had a great day out, irrelevant of the result. So all has been great. Isn't it, Poppet? Have we had fun? Yes, that was a yes. Good. <laughs> Samuel here. Um, I think when you start a season, especially when you've got a takeover and everything, you really want a positive start. Ipswich have been successful at that in the last few years, and I think they got one today, albeit they didn't win. But you know, for for a local lad in Macaulay Bond to score a last minute equaliser, it's you know, it's your dream if you're playing for Ipswich Town. Um, I think for both goals, uh, with all due respect to Morgan, I think they did play well, and I think they played the referee to their advantage at times. Both goals were defensive mess ups. First of all, Stockton played really well, good uh, pressured the defenders really well today. Um, a couple of good goals, but you know, defence has to do better for the first and the second. You know, Luke Wolfenden, he's still a young lad, however much he's been playing in the last three seasons. So it's a shame for him to give the ball away there, and ultimately that's cost us. But uh, Scott Fraser, I think, to score really good confidence boost for him. He's one of the biggest signings coming in, so it's always good to get off the mark early on. Um, and in terms of man of the matches, I'd say Rakim Harper and Lee Evans, both really, really good in that midfield. I think probably a couple of the best passes I've seen in Ipswich shirt for quite a while. I think the balls over the top to Vincent Young and Matt Penny respectively, you know, it was absolute quality. I think if there are any two players, those are the two that I'd pick out. Um, referee, you know, you don't want to talk about the referee much, but yeah, plenty of questionable decisions. And I think with defence to see Enciala, you know, I think he was crying at one point. You know, it was really sad to see. We need defensive uh, options and experienced defenders as well because, you know, Luke Wolfenden's still so young. Danassian's a right back or can play centre back, but, you know, we need options right now rather than signing lots of attackers because great to have options up front, but you've got to match that with some players uh, down um, at the back of the pitch. Um, and, yeah, so that's my review for the game. Ultimately, fairly positive, especially considering it's a last minute equaliser. Well, hi, it's Matt, aka V from the UT, aka. Bono, don't even like you two, however they are okay. So uh, let's talk about the game. How good was it to be back, back in this fantastic old stadium of ours? The first meaningful football for about 5,824 days or something like that. Anyway, new team, new dorm. We all expected to be like winning like four or five nil, but alas, it didn't happen. But I think we can be happy with two two. You know, I think we saw some positives at referee, do we ever have any decent referees at Fortress Portman Road? Oh, I can't remember the last time. But anyway, how good was it that Macaulay Bond scored? 2-2, 91st minute. I think we'll be all right. 100 points, 100 goals? I don't think so. You know, we are where we are. We're a third division team. 
who have got a decent team. The seeds are there. I won't say green shoots because I think we, we said enough of that kind of last season, two years ago, didn't we? But there we go. It's just good to be back. Bit of sun, bit of rain, bit of beer. Bit of East Coast IPA in the old fan zone there. But um, there we go, upper town. So I'm Segs, Thomas Seggins. Um, expect to be back again um, after 518 days in front of 21,000. Um, missed it so much. And, you know, the atmosphere today was electric. Um, obviously, times have got a bit quieter because especially when we went 1-0 down. And as, as you'd expect, obviously, we kept behind them. Um, in terms of the game itself, I thought the ref was absolutely shocking. Um, we all know the standard of refs in this league and, you know, it's, it's, it's like normal service again. Um, <laughs> In terms of the refs, you know, as soon as you come back and it's just another crap ref in League One. Um, it's what it is though, um, we'll get on with it. Um, hopefully we'll have better ones as we go on. But standard of that ref, I, I don't know how he's refing that game. Um, I don't know how he's a ref, so um, can't blame him too much though. I thought the, the defence, you know, it's, you, you can see that they've, they've been taught by Chambers, been led by Chambers. Um, I want to forget him, but you know, this, we need, we've had such a refresh and you can still see there's elements of the past. How many, how many of your years as he was here? You know, we need to we need to get the fridge ready in Edmonton, and we still need another sort of big, experienced centre back for that back line um, to get us moving. Uh, perhaps that's the end of Toto. I'm not sure, but you know, as um, we'll see in that sense. And then for Bond to score on his debut, I know he only got 15 minutes or so, but that'd be massive for him. Um, happy for him to score like he did. And we'll see what goes there. I'm not, I'm frustrated, but it's the first game of the season. Like I said on the pod on Thursday, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, so we move on. We've got Burton next week and just see how it goes. So there we go. The first game of the season done and dusted. It's a Desmond against Morecambe. Uh, but what an atmosphere that was. It was amazing to see the fans back. It was great to hear the thoughts from the fans after the game. You see the regulars, some new people as well. Bring on Newport in the cup. Then also, it's all about Burton away in the league. Um, hope you've enjoyed Game Day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Next time.